Welcome back to the Listen Up Podcast, where we analyze a new album each week. I'm Jamie, and this week we've got me, Nick. The, 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 the baby is canceled. And Jordan. Great, John, chilling on the beat, by the way. This week, we're going to be taking a look at Still Sleep by Sleepy Hollow, released in 2021. Uh, actually, pretty recently, June 2021. And yeah. it was picked by Jordan. Jordan, why did you choose this album for us this week? So I recently saw Sleepy Hollow in concert, one of the reasons, at Rolling Loud. Also, Rolling Loud's getting Ooh. way less heat than Lollapalooza is, which I'm glad about as well. Um, I think like that's the... just because everyone generally is done with Lala. Like, yeah. You elaborate. There, what, do you, what do you mean? Artists who go there. Like, the whole the COVID situation, to too. It's just like... Like there's so many pictures of like massive crowds at Lala, you know, yeah. like this, like the SpongeBob joke. That's like this is like the crusty, like when they were all standing outside of the crusty crowd or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like no one has talked about like Rolling Loud in that way, like in a bad light, except for like the the baby situation. <laughs> that's yeah, the baby. That's what it was. He took all the heat. He was the scapegoat. He did, dude. Thank you, thank you. But, like th- there's still like you, pretty massive crowds there, you know. But uh, and maybe yeah, a lot also of deltoids co- out there. Yeah, also COVID, I guess, ramped up a little bit more after, like literally, like right after it ended. So maybe that's also why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Sleepy Hollow. I liked a couple songs by him already, so I thought maybe we try an album that's more recent. That's probably more your guy's speed. You probably still didn't like it, but it's probably more your guy's speed than any of his other stuff because his other stuff is like the like the grungy, like coming out of the coming out of the the projects or whatever type stuff gotcha. that most of like it's, it's more like a new york style stuff that's mm-hmm. a lot more gotcha. drill drill based i think i, I don't think yeah, he's I, specifically a drill rapper but he Black has some and decker like that. milwaukee Ryobi? what yeah yeah that one's on the up and coming drill scene what are you you know, yeah, Eli have Frost? you been to home depot in a while no oh the drill scene man you guys are stupid <laughs> you guys are stupid <laughs> we're, we're we're uh quickly coming up to speed on the home depot and lowe's inventory as as new adult men we're, uh, we're, our... we're, we're, we're anti home depot though we support lowe's North i'm a carolina lowe's based yeah i love business. that grocery store I worked there. Didn't actually. donate to Trump's uh, election campaign, owner wise, you know. Oh yes. Uh, I've a I, I've I was raised a, a Lowe's in a Lowe's. We were family. too. Purely <laughs> because my mom doesn't like the color orange. I was raised. That's why we never went to Home Depot. That's hilarious. Yeah, and then and then just you know after everything else has come to light, it's like yeah, I still, I still support this. Oh, uh, before we get too far, gentle reminder. We do have show merch. Thrown it at the beginning this time because I wrote it down in all caps and nice, red. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> uh, you can find it at any of our social accounts at the links in the bio of them, or you can also head to interestpointproductions.com dot uh, because that takes you to the merch. Oh my god, that was a terrible ad. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> okay. so check that out if you want. Uh, yeah, ad read take two. That, that's pretty much it. I have. I just. Again, yeah. I haven't gotten to him like a lot of stuff. I've seen like I've gotten to his popular stuff and a little bit underneath his popular stuff, but mm. you know, I knew I knew no mega gotta, deep cuts. Gotta gotta let you guys experience some of the some of the goodness. <laughs> yeah, I definitely. Uh, speaking back, you said you kind of chose this one because you thought we would like it more. Uh, and well, I definitely no no no, no, no. sorry it. sorry sorry wait, wait wait not I don't think you'd like it more. Wait, I I think you like it more than all his other albums, right? But I still yeah, think, I still I don't know if you guys would like it or not. You know? Uh, well, okay. So I definitely liked it more than I thought I would. I I haven't oh. still haven't checked out his other stuff. The only time I've heard him is uh that feature in the the song that sounds like you're at a 1800s harbor from the other album we did. Uh, I stand by that. <laughs> Wait, um, which one? For, the, Chef the Chef G, G album, I know. But yeah, which what, which song? I'm pretty sure it's the one with him. Was the one that I said reminded me it's of like a harbor. Up? 
Wait on me? Uh, I don't know. I don't, that was a while that ago. One's, Maybe it was that one's different. really, really popular, and they played that one at, at his show. Also, I don't. That one sounds really good. I don't. I don't think that's the one that he's talking about. But maybe, it might maybe be. it's a different one. But yeah, so that's the only time I heard him before. Good so on I you for I don't know me. about his other, uh, his other music per se. Yeah. But uh, I definitely liked it more than I thought I would, based on uh, your your track record with uh, All right. artist choices. Uh, I just feel like his his vocals. There's a lot more melody in his vocals. Yeah, than, like, he does. He does other other choices. And you said you said that he's like adjacent drill kind of. Yeah. Or I mean, yeah. he 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 came out of New York and like yeah, he's like the guy, like Chef G, the guy he collabs with, has like the same producers that like Pop Smoke had. Also, mm-hmm. I don't know if I don't know if Sleepy Hollow has any, had the same producers, but like. He's very close to that scene, if not anything else. I was reading, uh, I, I read on the Genius page of Tiptoe that Tiptoe uh-huh. was the the 30th song that Chef G and Sleepy Hollow have done together. So they, they've, they've got to be pretty good friends. No, no, they, they literally like, they they do so many collabs together, it's insane. That, that, when, Are they like childhood friends or just like industry friends? I think they're industry friends, but like gotcha. very early industry friends friends uh-huh. actually i don't know they might be i didn't read too much but I, but i did see that uh that sleepy hello said that they didn't like each other too much when they first met i'm yeah. not sure what changed but they've they've built a very good working relationship together and i think a friendship yeah. too but yeah but yeah um i don't know it happens you know not yet I was gonna. I was gonna it's say like, it's like my remember. brother in Jordan. They didn't get off on the yes. right foot, <laughs> but, but now they're they're pretty good acquaintances. Right? I love Sandal. Honestly, oh, that's still like the best. Just not landing first interaction ever. I know, dude. I come off too. God, it's so sometimes. fucking. I funny. hate it. I hate it. I hate it. To, to fill the listener in very quickly, uh, Jordan made a joke about my brother's college right when they first met, and my brother didn't think it was funny. But yeah, he he was like, "Who's this dickhead?" Like, what the <laughs> <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> and then it was like, "No, no, no it, it was I just a joke." So he just bad. didn't. I know it just didn't land, dude. I feel but, so but bad. But we now. we recently all hung out at a at a house together for Jamie's bachelor party, and everybody had a great time. So yes, yeah, much those those wounds are are patched now. We've, yes. we've band aided. We've healed. We moved on. Yeah. Um, we listened to so much. Yeah, but, but 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 on. Back with back with this album though, I I also I appreciated the like more melody in the vocals, but I also just appreciated the variety of beats throughout the album. Interesting, because uh, this is it, the same <clears throat> producer that was on the Chef G album as well. Yeah, I don't know. I like this one a lot more than I like that one. I don't know. I don't know if that's if the producer, like, great John, chill on the beat all the way. Or if just it has to, it comes down to the actual artists themselves. But uh, yeah. I don't know. It sounds like, like it sounds it, like you've got it, some I, egg on your face, Jamie. A little bit of <laughs> yolk on your face, huh? Because this I don't one's know that better. Expression what? Either. Yeah, I know because, the expression. I just don't know how it pertains to because this. it's the same producer. Yeah, and, but the producer's not a hundred percent of it. I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling sure. a. I'm feeling a similar distaste for the beats, and like <gasps> the. Oh, the, the artist, that's why like, Nick's saying that. Like Sleepy Hollow, like I, I did like his rapping style a little more than Chef G. You know, I'm, I'm saying this right now, and I'm realizing that I'm saying basically exactly what you're saying, Jamie. Like, the, the beats are fine, but the rapping was better. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's we're on the same page here. Except, except I think quiet. Jamie's like up here with that, and you're like down here with it a little bit. Like I feel like you're like. It was this much better, and Jamie was like, "It was this much better, but this much worse." You know, uh-huh. for like, for the listener, Jamie's level of appreciation I, I, is slightly higher than mine. Jordan was yes. motioning okay. with his hands. Yes. I'm glad I I saw his hands, and I was still fucking confused. So I'm glad you explained <laughs> that. One for okay, us. okay, okay, okay. Uh, but n- so like we I've, we've talked about it in the past, like a lot of other that other albums that you've chosen. For someone, you have the weirdest spread where you have the highest and the lowest of the bell curve for the ratings. Uh, I know. But like the the lower ones for me, th- there are points where like they just blend together and feel the yeah. same the whole time. But I never really had that with this one, so I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, it kind okay. of 
the the variety because there was a lot of variety but it was also spread out pretty well yeah. it wasn't like you got the guitar section and then yeah. the just 808 section it was kind of sprinkled in throughout so that that was pretty good um it was in, it was an improvement for me over I got you. over kind of just oh my god I just burped other than like plus the past stuff plus the the anime funko pop cover pretty yeah good. that's yeah, yeah who I don't know who designed that. Who does his album covers? Because they're very eclectic. Yeah, I don't. I don't know who's done. Um, I don't know who did that one, but actually, I don't know who did any of them. But um, I, I remember has, when he released like the like the hmm. the album cover for it, and I was just like, "Oh, that's kind of cool. It looks like a little like little little him with a three animated, you know, super tiny mouth, you know, just a little umbrella." It's cute. Yeah. It's honestly cute more than anything. I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, it is a weirdly like cutesy <laughs> uh, album with like, you know, the face tattoos and stuff, which looking at him it doesn't look like he has those face tattoos. <laughs> unless this not. is an unless this is a really old picture, but and then like uh I think it's the one before that, but it's sleepy for president. And it's like yeah. the worst, but best album artwork <laughs> it like in two in 2003 this would have been the littest album cover ever yeah but in 2021 <laughs> it looks like an eighth grader made it no i also agree. it's so weird it kind of has the the foreground has like the same vibes as um is it from the doghouse what is the snoop dog album Oh uh, no! See that's that's what that's what I was thinking too. It kind of like the shading yeah. and stuff has that. But then like, like the, the window has like super shitty. It looks like someone made three D animation, but the same studio made it as the ones who made all the Creed music videos in the early two yeah. thousands. <laughs> so it's like it's super weird. Uh, and then the the one or one of them before that is like a creepy a sketch. pencil yeah. dr- sketch drawing. Yeah. So it's very very interesting and and different artwork. Uh, I don't know. I think the the more recent one definitely shows that uh, he's got a little more money, or the studio wants to pay more. I don't know. I don't know who's funding it, but someone someone had a much bigger budget to make uh, this this album cover for sure. Well, he's uh, he's he's more popular now too, you know. So right. Got to he's got to he's got to step his game a little bit. Yeah. I just sent you guys the Instagram profile of the album artist. Um, oh, you found he, it. Yeah, he does a lot of three D art. His name's Nick Barron. He just does a lot of like I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> where'd you see that? Uh, oh, the kid to, to our Instagram chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can send it to the Discord too. But you know, we're operating off the phone because we got. Wait, I think I've already seen this guy. Wi-Fi before, difficulties. Actually. So. Yeah, I, th- I think I've already seen this guy because he did like a little Cole Bennett one. Too. Yo, he's got he's got okay. some pretty damn good art. Yeah, yeah I, I, think, I think I've actually already seen this guy before. I'm going to drop him a follow. This is actually really good. Yeah, uh, well, it's Nick Baran, B-A-R-A-N-N, if the listeners want to check him out. His, shit, his shit's good. Shout out Nick Baran. I wanted to be a 3D artist once upon a time. Really? That's what I wanted to do. I went I went to like a 3D animation camp in yeah. uh, like ju- the summer of junior year of high school. It was really cool. And after that, I was like, okay, yeah, I don't want to do this as a career. The work days would be horrendous. <laughs> I've had my fill. <laughs> and then hearing more about about the industry and like just crunch time and just rampant harassment still in 2021. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm glad I didn't I didn't do that. You know, maybe I, I just admire uh, admire 3D artwork and animation. Uh, that was the same summer that Pokemon Go dropped, and oh, yeah. it would have sucked if I'd been Yadkin County for it. But it dropped like the week I was there, and it was at uh, George Mason. Up oh, nice! In I think in what Fairfax or whatever, like right outside of DC. So yeah, like yeah. I was I was sixteen on a college campus playing Pokemon Go and shit, and like it was it was video game animation. So like the professors who were instructing us were also like nerds, so they had their phone out too. <laughs> And we, we all paused class one time because there was a Gyarados that spawned, like a Gyarados spawned in the corner of the room. Oh. And everyone just huddled in a corner and, and, and like, we're trying to catch the Gyarados. I think the professor was, got in on it too. Yeah, I, I was at the beach uh, when Pokemon Go came out and I, I mm. walked around with my my you probably brother, got a fucked on a Magikarp, right? 
uh yeah a couple i remember um god magmar maybe might be his mm-hmm. name um is he the like he's got like super thick thighs and he's this yeah. like fiery yeah, he's the, yeah he's the thick yeah, fiery yeah yeah. yeah yeah like uh um i saw one of those on the beach and like it spawned after I'd walked past it, and I turned around and like ran back to try and catch it, and it was some kind of glitch or something. It ran away. That's Aww. I don't know. Pain. I just, uh, like, honestly, I saw a tweet one time that said like that week was the closest we ever came to world peace. True. Every I agree dude, with every, everyone. True. We it was like, so launch it was day. Sick, dude. You would just run into people in the street, and they'd be like. Yo, are you catching Pokemon on your phone? <laughs> and you'd be like, "Yes, isn't this amazing?" Yeah, yeah. and then the, it dude, was and then, amazing. And, and then it, it, for us, at least, it kind of had a revitalization when we went into uh, into college because there was like that update where they made it to where like you could uh, battle each other, like trainer battles, which was like if they had had that day one, I think that app would still be around. Like it lost its steam because they took so yeah. long to add that in. Cause that's all yeah. I wanted from it. Like the gym battles, that was kind of cool, but I just wanted yeah. to like, the whole fun is to duel your friends. And yeah. so like they like three years too late. But then, uh, if you're, if you're going to be an NC state engineering student and you have classes in hunt library, redownload Pokemon go because hunt library is in fact a gym. <laughs> that you can actually reach from the big lecture hall uh so because we sat there during quite a lot of c programming and uh yeah. intro to electrical engineering classes just you just play playing PUBG fucking pokemon mobile a lot, oh i no, did play no, a lot this of was, this was all before and after class during class we um yeah listened intently to the professors yes during class nick listened intently to the professors <laughs> Zach fell asleep and I uh, played PUBG Mobile. I I <laughs> annihilated people at PUBG Mobile. All right, I didn't you just did. play it. I won PUBG Mobile. You did. Like, you did. Mobile gamers are terrible. PUBG Mobile. If you have the sponsors. slightest, if you have the slightest FPS game sense, you can wreck shop on mobile games. It is insane. <laughs> um, but anyways, but back, back to, to the this album. album also, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that was kind of the. the the only other like general note I had was uh, there's a lot of mentions of wraiths in this album, uh, but I've never understood why people like Rolls Royces. I I think they're the ugliest. Luxury Did you say cars. race? Wraiths. It's a. It's like the. It's like the flagship Rolls Royce model. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I thought you said race. I was like, what does that and Rolls Royce have to do? No, with like the wraith, <laughs> the phantom. Okay, they, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I just don't like the way Rolls Royces look. I don't think they're good looking cars. I wouldn't pay three hundred thirty grand for a Rolls Royce. I don't think I know that much about Rolls Royces or cars in general. To even not even Toyotas, I, I don't even know about. So okay. yeah, well, okay. <laughs> so Rolls Royce is like, I don't know. I just feel like they look like they came up with the design in nineteen thirty and never changed. Yeah, okay, bad. <laughs> a Ro- Rolls Royce, they're like the luxury car. And yeah. they have no, no, okay, like, I do know, really I do know that. On the front. I do know that. Yeah, because because they're and they're all handmade. It's a cool yeah. company. It's a cool like that. That's why they're so expensive still. Is because they're still literally handmade, not like factory uh, assembly line made. They are like hand assembled. Oh but dang! I, th- I think I think a wraith starts at like three thirty. For but like for that you could get, I think way cooler because I don't know. I don't like. It, like if I if I was say I'm ridiculously wealthy and I'm in the market for a luxury car, I'm gonna buy a luxury sports car, not like a luxury comfort car. Yeah. And so like Bentleys, Royces, any of that, I just don't like the way they look. They look like more expensive Hemi three hundreds, which I also don't like the way they look. <laughs> like I don't know. They're just like I like it when when I'm looking at like cars and vehicles and stuff. I like sleekness, and so like okay. a Hurricane to me like or an aventador like stuff like that or like a really nice ferrari or stuff like that that's what i'm all about like the blocky squareness i'm like uh, this looks like i drew it in like third grade i just true you know i don't know not it for me but you know whatever floats your boat i guess if you want a car that's doors i think rolls royce actually they either patented it or it's like somehow it's their design but where the doors open like the back ones open from the back so then like the middle is fully open Uh 
it's it's called something. It might be called like Phantom Doors. I I don't remember the styling, but it's like that's like their thing. They're like our doors open from the middle. I'm like oh, whoa, <laughs> wow, okay. Ooh. wow. Butterfly doors are still the coolest. Yeah, those doors are pretty cool. Them, those are fucking sick. The those the, really cool. the those hinges have to be so fucking strong. Like yeah, they do. The the torque on those bastards. Because doors are heavy. Car doors are very yeah. heavy. Yeah. I never, I, I didn't realize how heavy they were until our, our family's minivan got totaled. And then you basically like, the passenger sliding doors crunched in. So it like, it locks into place, but it doesn't open and close easily. And you kind of have to like pick it up and shove it into place and like really yeah. get your shoulder into it to stick it in there. Yeah. And that's when I realized, I was like, yo, this door is fucking heavy. This is crazy. <laughs> So I, ever since then, I'm impressed by hinges on a uh, butterfly doors. Nice, um, nice. That's our inner engineer coming out. But yeah, yeah. Did you did, yeah. you did you like the samples on the album as a whole too? So I, I actually I did. I um. There's like the there's the one that's like my the favorite scrub was, was the like, no scrub sample. Yeah, yeah, it's my favorite. That was that was actually really good because I, I mean that song's great and then it it, it really fit with like. Having that like guitar that starts it off and then like the, yeah. like TLC's vocals. With his like much lower, deeper like voice, I thought it. Uh-huh. I, I really like the juxtaposition between the two. I know. Uh, but but the fucking Mino Sabe sample. Oh yeah, incredible. Mino sabe. Bitch, I'm unlike most. Uh, keep a gun right close. Put my shoot on green here, blow. Even on a red light here. The yeah, the, I think that one's really really good too. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's either a hit or miss for him. Like yeah. I swear, like I think he just missed a lot on the last album. And I know you still aren't like crazy, but I think the last album was just more of a miss because he also did the TikTok one where it was like, uh, I don't think you want to go off the deep end. You know, it's like my body different. Yeah. But that, but that, like, I don't want to go off the deep. End. You just got to give me a reason. That's in like the whole background of that whole entire freestyle too. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I, I think I've already said this, but you can hear like on the TikTok version you can hear like the great john music like tagline in it but no one probably knows that but or people probably don't care that much they probably just like I've they hear it and kind of i don't think i've ever listened to the full song I, i've only i yeah, only that's what, know that, that audio from tiktok that's what i assumed yeah I, which um, I, I've, I've only listened to it a couple of times i don't love it but i saw that song featured fouché and I think it just features her because she sang the original song. I don't think she has a verse on it, but I think they just featured her because I of don't the think reading. she does either. Yeah. I didn't know. Um, I, I hadn't heard of her before uh, Vince Staples' newest album. And he has a song featuring Interesting. her. She's got a pretty good part on it. Interesting. Nice, nice. Uh, I also, you like the. I, uh, oh, good. Were, were you going to mention the, uh, the Tiny Tim sample? Wait, I thought he was that? gonna mention the the chickens on tiptoe. Oh, dude, I was gonna I, check it. I was gonna yeah, mention I the chickens. <laughs> hey, I used to trap flip. We doing shit you imagine. Hey, went up in Saks Fifth. I spent the brick on a fashion. Nobody different. That's all she could say when we kick it. I just seen the outside. I'm dumping the dip. I don't okay, know how you ready. rap over that. That is, <laughs> that is one of that is one of those internet clips that is incredibly viral. Everyone knows it, but I just don't know why people like it. I just don't get it. I, I don't know the source material, but I know I've heard it before. I mean, it's been around on it's the from, internet from like a while. I I I only heard it when it got famous on TikTok. Yeah, I just but, uh, I, I'm not a fan. But then after I got fans on TikTok, then he sampled it. I'm like, how do you rap yeah, over this shit's, beat? Shit's it funny. sounded. <laughs> it, it was sounded very s- unexpected. Yes. Like that would just distract me so much if I was trying to rap over that and just a high pitched chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and baloney. Just sleepy. Hallows, kept the going. Oh my gosh. Rapper of all time. 
Oh. I shouldn't say that. He, but uh, yeah, it no. came out, Okay, so it hasn't been around that long. It just feels like it's been around way too long for me. Around it, I way too long. I think it's allegedly tw- from 2020. But yeah, I've just heard okay. it so much, and I just every time. Jamie I it, I'm said like, it's been around since like 2010. My guy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm kidding. I, didn't say, I said it's been around a while. It just, oh, well, I guess it's because the pandemic has really made time really weird on the internet. True. But yeah, I just don't get it. I don't get why it's so viral. But no, the Tiptoe is my favorite sample of the album, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Tiptoe, pockets so fat like a hippo. Huh? I turn white to a widow. Huh? Bro just got blood on his new coat. Even though, even though Scrub is like really good, and I maybe if I listen to that song more, but have you ever seen the fucking video for that song, "Tiptoe Through the Tulips" by Tiny Tim? No, no, huh? it is, it is horrific. It's so <laughs> creepy. I, I, the way he looks, it's, ah. Uh, this one's also got a creepy vibe to the to the um to the music video. Maybe maybe they like did it after that a little bit, but I don't really know because I yeah didn't. Watch I mean, the it. song's from like 1980, I think. Uh, I've seen him sing it on a talk show before, and like how freaky he looked. He looked like yeah. a like Jigsaw here, I've got, here, I've, I've, from from the Saw movies. Oh, there he be. There he be. Yeah, there he that's go. The, that's the whole thing. Tim. Like, there was, we, I, because the first time I ever heard, learned about the song was like eighth grade, I think, in like, you know, social studies teacher's class. When Insidious obviously. came out. Mm, what? Did Insidious come out in eighth grade? I've never seen it. I don't know. I think that, um, I think the song kind of blew up because of Insidious. Oh, really? And that's, oh, well, maybe that's like, why. The single version of Tiptoe by Sleepy Hollow and Chef G. It looks like Insidious. Like it looks like the Insidious house. Is yes. The okay. Well, then maybe oh, gotcha. maybe they did do that after the the they music video ha- is after. supposed to be like a creepy yeah. vibe. Like they're in like a haunted house or something. So gotcha. It's probably because of Insidious because the the like the music the original one it's like the live performance of him that's like viral isn't like necessary like inherently like it's not supposed to be like a horror thing like it's not like the thriller video or anything like that but it's mm-hmm. like. His demeanor, like hearing a hearing a grown, kind of creepy looking, just like thirty five year old dude with a ukulele playing that, singing that like forced happy sing song manner, very uh-huh. unsettling. It's more like <laughs> it's more like uneasy than like super creepy. But we had a classmate of ours who Nick was actually really close childhood friends with, uh, oh. but she was like terrified of that video when our when our teacher played it. Uh, in like eight, like I said, like eighth grade, he, I guess it was because Insidious came out around then or whatever. And he was like, someone was like whistling it or singing it or whatever. He was like, oh, you know that song? And then like he played the video and she was like legitimately terrified of it, like freaked She's like, out. Do I know that song? I don't know who you're <laughs> talking about. Like the video. Bro, I don't want to like give, I don't want to like dox her. You were like close childhood friends with her like all the way when you were really young and then. Okay. What what does her name start with? Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it post pod. But uh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but I I'm pretty sure it was her. But she do was I like, know who you're talking about? No, you don't. Probably not. Oh, uh, she was not. like terrified of it. Um, uh, Jor- Jordan's excluded. He didn't go to Fourbush High School. Ha <laughs> ha. Or elementary or middle school. Ha. <laughs> 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 uh, I didn't. He just, he just played baseball with a few people who did. Ha uh, ha. Jordan ball out with to, country. With, with, yeah, Jordan went to high school in a in a city where where uh, people are... people didn't uh, learn to flick their fingers like they were chewing tobacco in middle school. Haha. <laughs> in like seventh grade, and, and there was a lot we more diversity the... at that high school as well. And then uh-huh. we went on the trip to Washington D.C. All the teachers had to tell all the students not to do it because it made us look bad as a school. <laughs> that's so funny. Um, <laughs> oh, it's, um, I can do it to this day. Uh-huh, and I have never packed a single like chaw. Two <laughs> minutes away from some of the best food in the Winston Salem area. Yeah, like brick oven, Monty uh, D's brick oven. Dude, it literally Mario's, took me like two seconds. Goaded. Yeah, it all took me like two seconds goaded. to get Dario. To brick oven. Ooh, Dario was a more recent development. Yeah. Do you Dario know how many? Recent. Do you know how many after school 
Once we had our license trips, we would have taken the Monty D's had we've gone to high school fucking next to it. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, so many chips, so much salsa. <laughs> M- Monty D's was uh, the number one restaurant our senior year of high school, rated in our yep. yearbook, Dang. right? Yep, that it was. Uh, we and just went to meet Pueblo of, tonight. We're more of a meet Pueblo family, but fuck me Pueblo. <laughs> Why don't say me Pueblo? Also, I hate people say me, <laughs> me Pueblo. Pueblo. Me Pueblo. Pueblo. Hey, we're gonna go to me Pueblos. This guy used to say no. me Pueblo, me, and I'd be like, me Pueblo right. is is decent. It's pretty good. If Monty D's wasn't right there, I would go. I would go there instead. Oh, I got you. Gotta, you got to hit them hometown yeah. restaurants. Monty D's is fucking goaded. Local, though, bro. true, true, true. Their salsa is like the best restaurant salsa. I swear, it's got like the perfect blend of onion and cilantro. Oh, they got the steak tapatia, steak, mushrooms, tapatia. cheese, pineapple. Ooh. Oh, yeah, huevos con chorizo there, Ooh, and, uh, dang, fucking nutty. Spin it off, but uh, burrito California. Burrito California, delicious. Yes. Burrito California, no avocado or pico. Mm. Oh, Jamie yeah, just doesn't like, like vegetables. Weirdo. I know. I just don't like pico. I never have. Bro, pico's so good. I don't either yet, but I can eat pico okay. like salsa. Just like put chips no, in pico. Nah. And eat yeah, I feel like the I, ratio I'll, I'll of like day. tomato to onion and cilantro is way too low. Like salsa, I like it because it's mostly tomato. Pico is too concentrated in onion. It's too much. I love tomatoes. And avocado. avocado is just confusing to me as a food. I don't know why people like it. I don't love it's avocado. Just, it's just a bland paste. I do love it. I, I love it on things. It has a good like texture to it too. Yeah, yeah but anyway, one of those like just eat slices of it kind of people. Back to the album also. Like salt pepper. So we keep getting yeah. distracted a lot. Uh, today. Jordan, that's our charm. That's what we do. I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to. Uh, just trying to the only so the only line track. that I wrote down. Uh, was it might in, be the same uh, one that I only wrote it's down. In, is Maybe it, me it, too. It's in two sauce. Oh, no, I didn't oh, write no. that, that yeah. one. Okay. But it's, uh, uh, Grandma told me to save. I told her I can't take this money to the grave. Hey, Grandma told me save, but I told Grandma I can't take this money to the grave. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty damn good. Because like, I yeah. feel like that's, you know, that's a pretty good philosophy to have. Like, save responsibly like be you know economically responsible and stuff but also like what's the point in grinding under capitalist like yes. regime if you're not going to be water? able to spend money you are know, you good stuff, you know yeah. don't get too held up on saving you know to forget to spend the money that you're okay. selling your life for yes exactly uh, you know um, responsibly spend the money you earn uh, so yeah, the, that's that's just kind of what I read. That was the think, only specific. Line you think Sleepy Hollow was thinking about capitalism whenever he wrote that bar? <laughs> yes. I don't know. It could have been. But uh, the the one that I wrote down was in Equal, which is the one before Scrub, which I kind of liked a decent amount. Um, but he says, he says, wait, where is it? Where is it? No, I did it. Wait, what? Hold on, I did the control <laughs> F thing. And now it's oh, gone. God. Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. He said, and I don't want you around because you ain't holding me down. You ain't a part of the family. Want smoke? Then we steaming like Stanley. And I don't want you around because you ain't holding me down. You ain't a part of the family. Want smoke? Then we steaming like Stanley. I used to want the Porsche till I hopped in the AMG. Uh, Stanley oh, shit, steamers. Stanley steamer, carpet cleaners. Wow. Yes, he said we steaming like Stanley. Stanley steamer, get your carpet cleaner. Yes, that was the line that I wrote down because I was like, oh, that's 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 a, pretty that's good. Pretty good I, I didn't catch that one. Otherwise, I definitely would have written it down. I was like, hold up. Wait a second. How did he say? He said Stanley steamer. Fuck. He said Stanley steamer. <laughs> but yeah. I? One of my favorite lines on the whole album was in Tiptoe when he says, I'm too hot dog, better catch up. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Oh, my God. And then he repeats it. Yeah. We gotta gotta let it gotta Dude, really tiptoe. Tiptoe is, is easily funniest. my favorite track on the album. Dude, it's so good. Okay. I saw that live too. Ugh. That'd be it'd be a, I could definitely say it'd be a fun one. Uh, live. What I was real quick. What I was gonna say earlier is whenever they like, whenever they have festivals, or I've seen Chef G and Sleepy Hollow on music posters, they're either right beside each other or they're the only people that have like an X between their names because they perform like together. Mm. 
So they like they they honestly like perform a lot of stuff together because they have so many songs together. That'd they be probably fun. do. That, that'd yeah, be pretty cool. It is really fun. Did they perform together at Rolling Loud? Uh, no, Chef G was in jail, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Like oh yeah, like I before, remember you saying that actually. That like he had but, some but, kind but, of but, weapons charge. Yeah. yeah, but but before he went on, you know, there was a big like hashtag free chef on the on the thing because th- th- they were really behind i, I was initially going to s- skip sleepy hollow just because of the people we were like seeing um like audrey wanted to see someone before so i was like yeah i don't really care like i know like a couple songs which actually i ended up knowing more songs than i thought i knew by him but um we were like okay let's go see this person now and then we were like wait why is sleepy hollow going on right now like i, I was gonna see i was like wait what like why did it say free chef g and stuff like that's definitely a sleepy hollow thing and then he went on with this guy named eli frost which is also a guy who uh he was supposed to i think he's had like an unreleased song with pop smoke so they're kind of also in the same vein too but um yeah so they're supposed to he chef g was originally on it but then you know he had to go or whatever sad but they just performed but no tiptoe was really good also because chef g's verse it might be because they're both on it too but the first thing he says is like, I'm too fat to tiptoe. And I'm just yeah. like, like, I don't know why that line is just so funny to me. <laughs> they know I'm too fat to tiptoe. God can help you to rest ain't no pillow. Make me search for your house, this ain't Zillow. Bullet sick from the Smith ain't no willow. Hold on, wait. The day Because like, he is like a bigger, he is like a bigger person in like real life. But you're just like, oh, I wonder what this guy's going to say. And then he's like, they know I'm too fat to tiptoe. I'm like, what the? <laughs> huh? Like self deprecating on the first line. It's pretty funny. Uh, I, I never looked up uh, Chef G before. Or Chef G. Oh, podcast. you haven't? Yeah, I'm looking at him right now. Dude, you guys he, need to listen to song No. Okay, he's he's not fat. He's just he's like a little bit bigger, around. though. Oh, I was about to say. He, well, he's not like. I want to say he's like obese, you know? He's just like. He just has like a little weight, you know? Yeah, yeah. He, he's a little stocky, you know? And he He's like built. automatically has has pictures of Sleepy Hollow on here too. Yeah, I was, I was about to say It'll they. Wait. I think it's gotten a little bigger as times went on as well too. But oh. yeah, bro, a, I like that, that. Was a great um, intro to his verse though. They know I'm too fat to tiptoe. What else? Did, oh yeah, he says Nick. You already said it. He's like, I'm too hot. Dog better catch up. But then he's like. Hold on, wait. He like says it again because he's like, "Oh, that's such a good line. Let me say this again," mm-hmm. which is kind of funny. I do, I do like the like whenever you hear someone ad lib, like, "Oh shit, that was pretty good. I'm gonna say that again." Like that's always yeah. pretty funny to me. Like <laughs> hyping themselves up. Um, They're like, "Wait, hold up." To take them to beat off a bit. I uh, I liked in 2055. I liked the like lead guitar. Oh it's, yeah, it's throughout the song, but like I first noticed it, and it was really noticeable to me mostly in the choruses of it. I just wanna slide. Parties in the sky like it's 2055. She said, "Boy, you nice. Boy, you nice. Heart cold like some water and some ice. Why would you sacrifice?" Yeah, I just really like the tone that they have on it, which is not something that. Nick, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about? Nick's breaking his neck out here, being sideways and shit. I don't know. He could I think. Still I think he's. Me. Yeah, we could still see you. Uh, I MF was reading my have, brother's. Uh, MF doesn't have portrait page. lock orientation on, or he does, and he just turned. Right no, I've been landscape. It's it's easier to see you guys when I'm landscape. Bro, you're freaking. You, you, your shit's like keep turning sideways. It's going back and forth. Oh, oh. Uh, that, that's a great for the audio listener. Uh, <laughs> 2055 is the most popular song on this album as well, too. Believe it really? or not. I, yeah, I, it was one that I hadn't, I didn't recognize at all. Like I, I it's, didn't recognize it all. it's like easily. Wait, let me, let me. What's let the me better see. futuristic number rap song that ends in five? Huh? Oh. Uh. Is it? Uh, wait. Oh, what's the other oh one you're thinking of? God. Oh. Oh, you're thinking of the one by Charles Gambino, aren't you? Yeah, two thousand and five. Yeah, yes. Uh, but this one, this one has oh good. This one has fifty million plays. For reference, Wait on Me had thirty million plays. 
This is actually his 2055 is the second most played song. Okay. Really? Other than I, deep I, in free freestyle, which just got popular on TikTok, so that just bro, I didn't, I didn't it. recognize that one at all. It's crazy that it's got that many. Oh my god! I just, I, just for shiggles, I just looked up mm-hmm. uh, three thousand five to see what how many plays it has. Okay. Guess how many plays three thousand five has? At least three hundred million. I'm going. I'm wait wait wait. I'm going. Uh, Actually, no no no. I'm, I'm going, going to go six hundred and fifty million. I'm going 650 million. Ooh, Nick was closer. It's 480. Ah. Oh. That's insane. It is. To me. Like that's It is a fantastic song. It is. It it's probably the It it it's like tied for the best song on that album for sure. Yeah. yeah. I, I would of... say my top three are 3005, Sweatpants, and Worst Guys, which I know is like the basic three to choose <laughs> from there. But Zealous of Stockholm was also great. Pink Toes, uh, and then very good. Pink Toes is very good. I love which one's uh, the one where he's I like love Life driving the around. Troll. Which one's the, the one where song? he's like driving around to her house? Is is that Telegraph Ave? I like that one a lot too. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. But also, um, crawl. He also just got a feature from Coy LeRae on Twenty Fifty Five as well. They just did yeah. a they just did a remix together. Mm-hmm. She was at Rolling Loud, right? Yeah. Again, she got. She 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 just get clown she gets clowned on everywhere she goes. The crowd yeah. like wasn't cheering or anything. I felt so bad. Damn. How did I cheer at a festival? I know, dude. Of all places, like it's because they knew it was a meme. They right knew now. it was a meme. The crowd Oof. knew it was a meme, and they made it into another meme to not cheer. F. Poor girl. Poor dude, girl. Redbone has nine hundred seventy million plays. Oh Oof. God. It's <laughs> to a billion. It's gonna get to a billion actually. Yeah. I will listen. I will bridge that thirty million play. Gap. <laughs> you could not. Let's let's do the math. Actually, I don't think I've ever listened to Redbone all the way through. Maybe maybe once. Bold. I know. Bold I, call, you I, told you, I still haven't gotten into Childish podcast. Gambino that much. Oh, like you're, if you're I'm not into out. artists, I don't like listen to a lot of their songs. Like I don't even listen to like their popular songs if I'm not like into artists. I still barely know anything by Tyler. And I'm going to go see a concert by him, okay? Bro moment. I'm the... I would say I'm the Tyler Guru. I really don't know uh, more than like five songs off his first two albums. But... Yeah. But Cherry Bomb on. uh, I'm pretty good. Our future wolf gang kill them all. I know OWFK, whatever whatever their thing was. Bro, it's... O F W G K T A, I think. I used to. Know. I feature Wolfgang killed them all. Yeah, that's what it is. My, my that, friend just was really spawned... into them. Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that's what spawned golf, golf wang, Wolfgang. Do it. We can make the thirty, the thirty million listens happen. We just. Oh. We just one person would have to listen to Redbone. For seven thousand four hundred and forty-three days straight. How many years is that? 30, 30 million. Seven thousand. Oh, word. oh no, you're right. Uh, seventy-four hundred years. Oh, continues. Uh, well, two hundred two million two point seven two million days. Oof. 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 Well, that's insane. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> it's just a casual like eight hundred lifetimes or something, but you know it's fine. It's whatever. It's yes. whatever. Uh, that's crazy. Um, but I honestly, that might be that might be the rest of my notes. I didn't have. Yeah, that I many, think me too. Actually. A couple of songs were eh, you know, but mm-hmm. uh, the good ones were good though. The good, yeah, the the good de- samples were decent, pretty good. There's some decent shit on here this time. Yeah, um, tiptoe still. Oh, just unbeat, just unbeaten. Nick, how how do you like the t- song tiptoe specifically? I liked it. It was one of my favorites. Um, right, my right, right. my favorites that I wrote down were basketball dreams, scrubs, and uh, tiptoe. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. um, and, and like like tiptoe, like I don't think I saved any songs on the album, <sighs> but like, but if I you say, put, I saved tiptoe and scrubs, I think. Yeah, but but if you put on tiptoe in the car, like it it would be hype, dude. I know it's such a hype, dude. 
on like a oh. post pod like cookout run it, it would have been yes. Dude, honestly I, I was talking about this with Vic I am like one of the things that I miss most about Raleigh like being out there was our fucking the like post podcast trips we would I take know, dude, to like uh, like cookout on Taco Bell and shit now since you leave, me and Nick just have sleepover at sleepovers after. Well, not uh, even because Nick's down in Houston. We're actually all across the before. country right now. That's crazy. We, we really are. <laughs> None of us are in Raleigh. We're in three different time zones. Uh, I'll be back. That is true. That's we're gonna true. have to. Nick we're gonna have back. to do post pod cookout runs with Zach, and then like put you on the TV, Jamie, and like set up oh, a yeah. camera <laughs> so you can. I'll see be yourself. like I'll be like that gag in every like 2008 or 2009 kids show where they put the kid who's sick at home on the iPad, like, <laughs> like, ro- on the like a moving robot, like Karen yeah. from SpongeBob. Yeah, yes. just be that. Just put me on <laughs> an iPad time. and like FaceTime me the whole time, you know. Uh-huh. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, I, I guess. That's it for me, Nick. I don't know. If, do you have any more any nah. final thoughts before we rate it? I'm All right. Done. Well. Uh, well then Jordan, since you, you chose this one, you can take us away and then I'll go and Nick will go and let us know what we're gonna be doing next week. I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven, nine. Okay. I I I have hearted a couple songs from this, so and then unhearted chicken because <laughs> I realized I liked it for the meme at first, just to show people, and then I'm like it it, it comes on every once in a while and my shuffled likes, and I'm like I skip it every single time. Yeah, you're just gonna. It's it's gonna be another born this way situation before you know it. No, it's not gonna be another. (laughs) (laughs) We're talking about the born this way situation. (laughs) That might be the best joke that we just can never explain. That's just so fucking funny. Yeah, Um, we can't. Not 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 now. Anyway, but uh, I'm gonna give this one a five and a half. All right. I okay. think it's it, it was a little bit above average to me. Vic was I was telling Vic that she was like, I was I said I gave something a five, and she was like, "Man, you really didn't like it." And I was like, "No, five is like literally average." Like for, okay, but to be honest, average. we usually don't give anything under a three, though. You know, so it's like three is the lowest. We have we have still not gone below a three. Uh, I could man, definitely I've go just, below a three. I've just been throwing out those tens. I've got seven, but yeah, he's a. Uh, you have seven tens. Yeah, I do. Yeah, wow. dude. I I think I think a lot, there are a lot of albums that are tens. It, like if you like, you can't be too. If you don't give out tens, then the maximum isn't ten anymore. You know, it's like the teacher that says you can't get a hundred on anything in my class. It's like, what's the oh, point? Yeah. You know, I agree. Um, I, I just haven't picked many many of my ten albums. I guess. Yeah. Because I, I feel yeah, a similar I way. Pick- I think albums that I like want to listen to, not ones that like I've loved. I mean, some, some sometimes I do. Like I hadn't listened to this album that much before. Two two of the seven tens I've given out are albums that I chose. All the other ones are other ones that, that oh. are albums that other people have chosen. Interesting. Oh, wow. Jordan's got one. David's got one. Vic's got one. Ethan and Nick actually. So wait, I, I don't have two. Uh, I thought I had two. No. What'd you give Man on the Moon? I gave it a nine. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, but but uh, circles, circles. What did I give circles? I gave it ten. I probably gave it. Like, I do, I do, I do remember that one. You gave ten. I probably gave, gave it an eight and a half. Bro, that's weird. oh. Why did I do that? Yikes! I must have not it's, been it's our, it that week. It's our third album. It's tied with Man on the Moon. I should have bumped Yikes. it up. I I listened Nick. to. I listened oh, to that album. Sound and color. Yeah, I listened to that album so much when it came out that. Uh, I forgot I listened to it that much, like later mm-hmm. in the year, and still, like two of my top three songs were from that album. Dude, oh, it's dang. so that fucking be... good. And I, I, uh, I listened to it the other day, and I was like, I was like, man, I forgot how phenomenal this album is. It, it, it must have been love... like a Heim situation where where I just wasn't feeling it that week for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Sound and Color is tied for third. It's the only album that has gotten two tens, and it's tied for third because Jordan gave it a five and a half. <laughs> 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 yeah i knew i gave that one yeah, i love that album. phenomenal oh that album is i was being nice to you i could probably rate it like a one if i wanted to but <laughs> ouch um nick what is right, your well, thing yeah nick what's your rating for this album i'm <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it a four all right okay because I was, gonna, I was gonna say three and a half, but I feel like that's too harsh. Like, based on some of my previous ratings, I don't know. A, a four is solid. 
because I, I really yeah. didn't I, I didn't hate it I didn't like love most of it but I, I like scrubs I like tiptoe you know I like basketball that's okay dreams. yeah I got you I got I got you. That's the, that's how I am with albums. I listen to like your guys, so I can't you know I can't yeah. be can't be mad when it swings the other way. Sometimes you know. Thank you. It's thank you for understanding. You truly are taking the high road right now because we thank do you. this. Thank well, you. We 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 subject you to these albums every every two weeks, and then you get to pick your own every third week. So <laughs> you're in the minority in this situation. I know. I know. I know. That uh, that brings us to an average rating of five point five even, uh, which places bad, it tied at fifty fifth with Meet the Woo Two. Um, I should have given that a ten, bro. I should have given it a ten. Below Ooh. Bummer and above Dirtbag. One and only is still the bottom of the barrel. Which one was I that again? That, that. That's Chef G. That you gave it a you gave it a five. Nick gave it a four. I gave it a three. So it's a, yeah. It, it's an average of four. It's going to be hard for another album to get that. Chef low. G. I Maybe need to I give go... Chef G a three because this this album was better than that. Damn that! If you had done that, that wow, would bring it to bro. a three point six seven. Too bad you can't. I can't. Or else I'd give sound and color. A zero. <laughs> Whoa, our ten, first ten zero. zero. Oh no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Boo, doo, doo. Boo, 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 boo. But yeah, that's boo, that's that's right. that's the pod. Mm-hmm. There we go. I guess no, not. Nick, we're, we're, we're done. We're not doing an album week. next week. Oh no, nope. that's it. That's the end of the podcast. Oh, we <laughs> buy some CPL. merch. Buy some merch. We're, we're, we're done, done recording. Bitches. We're done. Uh, Nick, what are we going to be listening to next week? We we are going to be listening to The Nashville Sound by Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit. Because, yes. because I am going to see them in concert next Wednesday. That is fucking hype. So, yeah, oh, wait. You, you haven't seen you haven't seen the 400 unit live have you no nope. dude it's crazy it's so good i brought i bought pretty good seats not amazing seats but but pretty good seats so seat dang singular seat. jason isbel is him him and peach pit might be at the top of my list of people i've seen in concert once who i desperately want and need to see live again interesting i'm gonna buy so much merch I'm gonna blow like oh yes. I'm gonna blow ticket money like double that on merch. It's gonna be great. Dang. I, I mean that's you. what you that's that's the mentality for a concert. Honestly, that's True. that's what I was going to. With it. I always forget about that. We buy and call me if you get lost merch. I thought about it, but like I went I went on the the golf wang site. Uh, Everything's sold out there. Everything is sold out except for things that are like a hundred dollars. So. Okay, I okay. I let me rephrase that. I only buy show merch for albums. Mm-hmm. Show merch? What do you like? Yeah, like like I only buy show. like like concert show. Like I buy posters. I buy uh, concert shirts. Like I buy concert posters, shirts. Uh, yeah. Wait, you know, what else is there? Stickers and shit. Well, like like how you were saying, like buying like you know, uh, call me if you get lost merch on the website. I wouldn't buy that. But like, oh yeah, no, I, I think shirt, when we. I'm saying like it, if we went to there in person, you know. At that point, yeah, I, I, I would. Um, I'm a I'm a little picky. I I don't like buying tour shirts that have tour dates on the back. But I'll and, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it looks shitty. Uh huh. But yeah. I but I'll yeah. I'll buy a poster with my specific tour date on it because that's mm, like yes. badass. Mm. But yeah, like that makes a, sense. and I'll I'll buy like a shirt or a hat or something like that has the band name on it at the merch stand. But yeah. but I, I'm not a, I'm not a huge shirt like t-shirt I used guy to be more of, I I used to be more of a concert shirt guy. None of the shirts I've bought though have none of them are like the date shirts, but yeah. like the Jason Isbell one I have that I love. It says like Southeastern, like Jason Isbell Southeastern, but I, I don't think it says tour, but like I bought it at the tour. Uh and then the Black Keys is like it doesn't have anything on the back, but you can only buy those shirts on the Turn Blue tour. The like Grim Reaper with the scythe and shit, yeah. uh, and the Cage the Elephant one I have. That's the Come a Little Closer single album cover. Um, 
But yeah, posters are what I buy now. I love I love concert posters. I still have posters to are cool, up. but they don't they don't have anything for for Rolling Loud. Really? Because like Bonnaroo had like four or five Bonnaroo posters, like four or five different styles of Bonnaroo posters. I don't know. Maybe they. Just and that's I bought I bought one that's so fucking sick that I need to hang on our wall. Like it's it's so cool. Uh, you guys you guys know that movie that I watched last weekend, The Green Knight, the new A twenty four movie. Yeah, oh, I feel like I should Audrey just watch that too. Actually, Audrey did. The Green Knight. We'll we'll, we'll talk about it post pod. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. But but uh, but I thought it was phenomenal, and I right. feel like I need to watch it. The the um the L A, um like clothing company that makes like some A twenty four shirts, some John Mayer shirts, some Grateful Dead shirts, online ceramics. Uh-huh. They made my uncut gym shirt that I have. I, I got okay. some post notifications for them today, and I was like, I just saw it, Ooh. and for a split second, I was like, okay, if this is Green Knight merch, like I'm gonna have to buy one of these. I opened yeah. it up, yeah. it was Green Knight merch, so I, I bought oh. one today during lunch. Oh, yeah. nice, See, that's nice. that that's that job mentality. That's, I'll, <laughs> that's I'll that be there soon, boys. Mentality. I'll finally be there soon. The job uh, mentality. I know. I, I bought the lyrical lemonade rug that I was wanting for so long that nice. I that I didn't buy for so long and then I was like I gotta buy this so then I did dude Nick I, I am so excited you picked the Nashville sound because not only does this mean I get to do another Jason Isbell album on the podcast but it means that for the next week I'm just gonna be back listening to Jason Isbell almost constantly yes sir uh, I should have picked exciting. it during the during the winter I know you're more of a, a sad winter song I'm, guy. I'm an Isbell I'm, I was waiting for I'm not gonna lie I was waiting for this fall or winter to pick my next <laughs> Isbell choice uh, You'll just have to pick reunions or something more than free this fall, and we'll we'll do it again. So, not yeah, again, dude, but we'll we'll do another one. I I I I have I literally have or like here we rest next. I have my next four or five. You do like here we rest a lot, don't you? I'm more of a Silence of the Ditch guy as far as like the first three albums go. Uh-huh. Um, also, the self titles. We can talk about that more next week. I will. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should. We should. Um, we're, we're almost out of an hour, so it's good. But uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. I'm excited because I'm I'm gonna almost exclusively be listening to Jason Isbell for the next week probably. Um, next, the so, little teaser, little teaser for next week. Depending on the songs we go in depth on, might cry a little bit. No, we'll I'm not crying to see cry. these songs, dude. If you listen to They're the words, put me to sleep, bro. Nah, if you listen to the words of some of these, you might you might feel a little little tug on your heart. <laughs> well, we'll we'll uh, we'll discuss next week. I'm also an emotionless <laughs> being right now, so. I'm emotionless. Uh, so we'll, we'll okay. That's next week, though. We'll we'll wrap up uh this week with what we've been listening to. Um, for me, after hours by the weekend, uh, I kind of was inspired by you, right? From last week, I actually uh, listened to that this week to too. After hours again, uh, Blonde by Frank Ocean. Uh, I don't know why, but it's it's in like my weekly album rotation for the last like month. Uh, been listening to a lot of yacht rock just in the car, just oh, chilling, yes. you know, driving, windows down, listening to a bunch of yacht rock playlists. Um, what else? There was one more I've been listening to. Oh, uh, Cope by Manchester Orchestra. I've been listening to that again too, the album. Um, and a little Adele, actually, which is kind of weird. Normally, normally Adele is a cold month artist for me. Nice. But... Uh, I've been listening to a, a decent amount of Adele recently. And that's it for me. Jordan, take it away. Um, I've been listening to a lot of songs that I heard in concert. It's so like Tiptoe a little bit. I've been listening to No Suburban, which is actually by Chef G, but that was the first song uh, Sleepy Hollow played at a set as like a tribute, I guess. Okay. Um, I listened to Down Below by Roddy Rich because that song was really good and – concert um i've been listening to mia by ssg kobe that i didn't hear in concert but i heard from like the middle of like the like i heard it being played but i wasn't like at the stage you know Mm -hmm. there was a song that i had already been listening to and the only song i really knew from him um okay just oh i'm sorry oh Oh, lord some more blue face some more this could be us by ray shremmerd which, wait, who's the other guy? Sway, Sway Lee was also there. I know Ray Shrimmer's not like, anyways. But Sway Lee was there. Didn't go see him either. But 
I still like his stuff. Again, there's just too many people to see at one time. But I've been listening yeah, to yeah. No Suburban probably the most. Was out that of when, anything? Was that one on? Uh... No, that was like that was like his breakout song. Let me see if it's even on an album. Hold on. <laughs> Let me I just see. Really like... I, I promise you, No No Suburban Part Two was on the album. Oh, you listened to. that's right. That's right. That's right. But no, okay. No Suburban is a single on its own, but it is like the best it is it, I, I listened to no suburban part two after that and still no suburban's like so much better like oh, so shit, much dude, better. is that a tahoe no suburban what i hate you anyways so that's what i've been listening to bro that shit was fire all right you're funny <laughs> jamie you're funny hee <laughs> <laughs> i'm so funny ha 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 okay <laughs> so this week there was a lot of new music that dropped um there was a decent amount of new music Skate by Silk Sonic. Fantastic new single. Yes. Oh my uh, god, I cannot fucking wait for that album. Yes, sir. I, I feel like they would have I feel like they would have dropped it as like a summer album. But I, I'm not sure what they're yep. waiting for now, but they're just they're just know. teasing everybody. They know it's so good. But um uh Isaiah Rashad, The House is Burning. Pr- pretty great album. Oh yeah, I've seen I've seen a lot of stuff with that. Yeah, the um the Lil Uzi feature on God, it's the second song on the album. I can't remember the name of it. I don't know, but it's it that that whole song is really good. Um, Bleacher's new album, "Take the Sadness Out of Saturday Night," pretty good. Um, uh, "Private Space" by Duran Jones and the Indications. It's like a kind of kind of cosmic, like old soul R and B album, but it came out last Friday. Very good. There was also a new Billie Eilish, the new Dawes cover. Oh um, yeah, I haven't. I have. I have listened to Billie's new album. I have listened to that. I've listened to most of it. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Big Red Machine, a co- combination of Justin Vernon from Bon Iver and uh, Aaron Dessner, who's from the National, and he's produced a lot of Taylor Swift new Taylor Swift new stuff like uh, Folklore and. Evermore, he produced them with Jack Antonoff. They they have a collab coming out. They have like four singles released so far. They're pretty good. And um, I also kind of discovered Maggie Rogers' like B side mm. album. It's called uh, it's called Notes from the Archive, twenty eleven to twenty sixteen. And I I didn't listen to it when she released it because I was like, oh, like B-sides, whatever. It just kind of like slipped into my library and I forgot to ever listen to it. And I listened to it again this week and, well, for, the, for the first time this week. And it's like vastly different from her usual stuff. That's like dance beats, like oh, like yeah. electronic pop stuff. Like there's a lot of like indie guitar driven stuff and like singer songwriter piano ballads. Like it, it's, it's different and it's, it's so good. So I would I would highly recommend that. I've been a big Maggie Rogers fan for a long time. So, oh, yeah. That, and uh, and that's it. Maggie Rogers. I was gonna say that's about it. Like I only listed like two things, but I listed a lot of things. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check them all out. There you go. Uh, okay, so then with that, we'll wrap up and say, you know, we just wanted to say thanks again for listening this week. And remember to tune in next week where we're going to be taking a look at The Nashville Sound by Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit. Uh, be sure to listen to it as much as you want so that you can formulate your own thoughts and mentally join in the discussion with us while we talk. Um, if you want to, you can also feel free to actually join in the discussion by either leaving a comment about your thoughts on this week's episode on YouTube or Instagram, or you can also tweet them at us. We're on Twitter at at List Up Podcast and on Instagram at Listen Up Pod. And those accounts, as well as our personal handles, are going to be in the description of wherever you found this episode. Uh, make sure to give you know one or both of them follow so that you can see any updates or announcement we announcements we make as that's where we send them out um we also ask you know if you enjoyed this episode and feel like we've earned it you could leave a rating or review wherever you found this episode if you wanted to uh if not no worries uh and remember to check out the new merch um but for now we'll catch you next week and remember to listen up Mm -hmm.